This is an unmitigated disaster. I'm not sure how, but somehow I've completely frozen my beer. So, here's what's happened. I've been lagering two of my beers in this fermentation chamber, this chest freezer, and I'd set it to be 57 degrees. It's reporting that it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit in there, and therefore it's running to try and cool it down. Um, now, the way this works is I have a, a temperature sensor, which I've put in a bottle of water here. Uh, trouble is the bottle of water is completely frozen. So somehow this temperature gauge, which is in ice, thinks that the current temperature is 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Huh? Also in this fridge is a yeast starter, which is also completely frozen. So there's two things here that I just don't know the answer to. Uh, number one is, why has this happened? Um, surely if the temperature sensor is in ice, it shouldn't think it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the second question is, what about the beer? So there were two beers in there in fermenters, one of which had basically finished and was just lagering and the second one had actually just got started, so um, I probably haven't done the yeast any favours on that one. So why did this happen? Well, it looks like the temperature probe on my ink bird uh, is totally whack. It's just spectacularly gone wrong and is measuring temperatures very incorrectly. So right now I have a, a glass of water with ice in it, tons of ice, and I've put the temperature probe in it and it's surrounded by the ice cubes. So this is pretty cold water now. It might not be quite freezing, but it's going to be close. In Fahrenheit, that's 32 Fahrenheit. It's showing me around 60 Fahrenheit. So there is clearly a calibration problem here. It's kind of reading almost 30 degrees too warm um, and that was causing the, uh, the, the freezer to stay on and then for eventually for the ice to form in the water bottle and uh, of course then for my beer to, to end up freezing as well. The other thing I'm doing is I am using vodka instead of water to put into these bottles here because that way I know that the vodka is not going to freeze uh, it, it would have to get to minus 16 Fahrenheit for that to happen. So if I am not using water, I can be sure that the water bottle is not going to freeze and I'm going to have those sort of issues. Now I found an older temperature controller that I happen to have lying around from an old fridge and I've uh, put that probe in there and this is showing much more along the lines of what I expect. So this is saying 37, 38 Fahrenheit. That's probably uh, about right for that water. So. I will uh, replace the ink bird with this one for now. So what about these two beers that got frozen? Well, one of them actually was pretty much done fermenting. I was really just lagering it. So I'm going to warm this guy back up and consider what happened as a very thorough cold crash. I'll put it in kegs and give it a try. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, had only just started fermenting. So I do not know what has happened to the yeast now I've frozen them. Probably nothing very good. So I'll warm this guy up and see if activity starts again, if, if we get any more bubbling in the airlock. And if not, I'm going to pitch uh, another, another batch of yeast, I guess. But yeah, I have really no idea what will happen to frozen beer, but you know what? I'm about to find out. I'm sorry bits of yeast at the bottom of this frozen mess. You never even had a chance. 